Okay, hi everyone. I'm uh, showing you a small demo of the new DUI firmware for the RK2. It's uh, adding some features to the Electron Digitect. I've made a setup uh, with the RK5. Um, the RK5 is hosting the Arturia Keystep and the Digitect uh, via USB. And I've looped back the RK2 cable inside the uh, back inside the Electron Digitect to uh, perform the um, two extras uh, being Euclidean rhythms and polyphony. Now <clears throat> the polyphony is already on another firmware of the RK2 as well but um, because the looping back inside the electron is a bit of a, a hack and uh, it could cause MIDI loops uh, which none of the MIDI devices like so uh, in this firmware, this DUI firmware, I've muted most of the data which comes back into the Digitect, only the extra generated triggers and keys so there won't be a lockup. I hope. Um, well, um, the configuration of the Digitect is important, I'll uh, show you. Um, I'll go to settings, um, MIDI config and then synchronization. You have to set the clock send but not the clock receive because uh, Digitect is already the master, you don't need to receive it again and the RK2 will slave on the tempo of the Digitech, so you need to send the clock. Then on port config you have to set all the MIDI port options to MIDI, not uh, SYNC24 or anything. Input from MIDI USB, well now it's handy with the RK5 sending notes in. Uh, output channel, track channel, param parameter output on control change, encoder destination, internal and external. Uh, trick key as well, mute key as well, receive notes, receive CC as well. That's that's it for this page. Then we go to channel. Well, you see, I've configured channel one to eight to respond to MIDI channel one to eight, and channel A and B, they send out on channel nine and channel ten. Channel ten um, is doing the Euclidean stuff. Channel nine is doing the Polymax polyphony. Well, um, I'll uh, let you listen to the samples I've put on here. Four like synthesizer kind samples and four drum samples. Now, <clears throat> um, I'll start with the polyphony uh, on channel 9. You'll see if I press the key here, it will uh, rotate between channel 1 and 4. I do this. I can play chords and if I want to play it externally, now it doesn't play externally, then I have to function press this so channel 9 is on and then I can also play from the key step. So that's actually the uh, yeah, the nice feature of looping this through this way. Um, I'll disable it for now uh, and I'll go to channel 10 which is the Euclidean stuff. Um, this I've set to channel 10. Um, well, you have to make sure the uh, dials here are configured to send out a controller 70 and 77, that's default. And also you have to enable them here. Uh, they're already enabled, as you can see. Uh, you do a function click to enable all the eight values to be sent out on channel 10. Yeah, uh, what I can do now is just play. It's an empty track, <clears throat> nothing's inside the Digitech, but when I start rotating this probability slider for the Euclidean, you'll hear a kick is generated. And uh, a wood block, hi-hats, and snare. Now there's also an extra here that um, if you play in channel 10, I'll configure the keys that play in channel 10, then you can do a little tuning that's also very nice. Uh, like when I touch a dial here and I'll press a key, and I can tune the, the block. After that when I um, add the hi-hat here, I'll touch the hi-hat dial. And then it will 
change the note of the hi-hat. Well, you could make sort of melody sound with it, especially when you use the Euclidean triggers on the synthesizer sound here. So you could also use the uh, Euclidean generator to yeah, make sort of patterns in, uh, in notes and chords. So um, that's about it for the Euclidean. Then, um, well, also uh, now it's uh, in the in the in the mod firmware, which actually was for more generic devices, you needed to um, uh, connect the ARCHI to the, to the computer to um, change the number of um, uh, voices you would like to use for polyphony. But now, put this on channel nine. Okay, now I can use the um, how can use a program change to change the number of voices I want to reserve for, for polyphony. Like now it's set to four. But if I want to use only two, like this, I just set the program change and then I've configured it to uh, to have two polyphony. And I could use all the six for uh, drums, whatever. Um, yeah, same sort of little configuration is also doable with uh, the Euclidean pattern. Uh, when I play a pattern, I'll close the notes. Um, the pattern is uh, by default it's 16 long, but I could change it into like strange length. So the Euclidean pattern is now shortened to seven steps. I can go up to 32 steps. And now it will spread the probability over uh, 32 steps. It will be a long pattern. This is independent of the internal sequencer of the electron. Um, so, yeah, maybe you won't use it, but uh, well, it's possible. I'll set it back to 16 again. This is like a normal, uh, normal length you can work with a bit. Okay, so. Um, that's about the, the extras. Uh, when you upload the DUI to the RK2 cable, you could use our uh, exchange server. Um, it also shows you quick configuration parameters. Would you like to use other channels for it or not? Uh, but um, yeah, well, I'd say uh, play around with it and uh, I hope you'll make some nice extra sounds with your Digitect. Bye bye.